In today's video, we're going to learn how to do multi-digit multiplication using the stacked method. All this means is we're going to rewrite these problems with one number on top of the other one. This makes it easier to solve harder multiplication problems. Let's try number one. We have 15 times 26. So the first thing you want to remember when using the stacked method is always write your larger number first. It's not going to be as big of a deal in these two examples, but you'll see as we go further on why putting your larger number on top will make it easier for you in the long run. So we have 15 times 26, but we're going to write 26 on top times 15. Always remember to line up your places when you're using the stacked method, and by that I mean the 6 and the 5 are both in the 1's place, so they have to go right on top of each other, and the 2 and the 1 are in the 10's place, so they also have to go right on top of each other. So now we just have to multiply down, and essentially what we're going to be doing is you're going to be multiplying 5 times 26, and then multiplying 10 times 26, and I say 10 because the 1 in 15 is in the 10's place, so it represents 10, um, and then we're going to add those together. So let's go through this. So we have 5 times 26. We're going to start with 5 times 6. That equals 30, but we can only write the 0, and we have to carry the 3. So then we have 5 times 2. That's 10, but we have to add in this 3 that we carried. So that's 13. So we write 13 over here because we have no more places to carry over to the left. Now we can cross off our 3 and cross off our 5 so that we don't get confused later on. And now we have 10 times 26. So since this 1 is in the tens place, this is a very important step. We have to write a 0 over under the 5. Just try to remember that your first number when multiplying in the tens is always going to go directly below the tens place. So we have 1 times 6. That equals 6. And then we have 1 times 2. That equals 2. So essentially what we have here is 5 times 26, which is 130, and then 10 times 26, which is 260. So in order to get our final answer, we just have to add these two together. So we have 130 plus 260. So if we add that down, 0 plus 0 is 0, 3 plus 6 is 9, and 1 plus 2 is 3, making our final answer 390. So 15 times 26 equals 390. Let's try example two. We have 31 times 18. So let's rewrite this in the stacked method. So our larger number is 31, so we put that on top, times 18, put the line. And now let's multiply down. Again, remember we're doing basically eight times 31 and then 10 times 31. So we have eight times one, is 8, so we put the 8 directly below. 8 times 3 is 24. And remember, we can just write the 24 since there's no place to the left of 31 to carry. So we're done with the 8. So we can cross that off. Now we have to do 10 times 31, but we're just going to use 1. So because it's in the tens place, we have to put our 0 under the 8. Now we have 1 times 1 that equals 1, and 1 times 3, that equals 3. So again, what we have is 8 times 31, which equals 248, and 10 times 31, which equals 310. And to get our final answer, we have to add those together. 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 2 plus 3 is also 5. So our final answer is 558. So 31 times 18 equals 558. So if you notice in those first two examples, both numbers that we were multiplying have the same number of digits. But that's not always going to be the case. Sometimes you're going to have a number with two digits times a number with three digits, or a number with three digits times a number with one digit. So we wanted to go over a couple examples that have different number of digits in the numbers we're multiplying. So let's try number three. We have 12 times 126. So let's rewrite this stacked on top of each other. Remember, we always want to put the larger number on top. So we're going to start with 126. So we have 126 times 12. Now we lined up our places. The 6 is 
over the 2, because they're both in the 1's place, and our 2 in 126 is over the 1 in 12, because they're both in the 10's place. So now we're just going to multiply. So we start with the 2 and 12, so 2 times 6 is 12, so we write the 2 under there, and we carry the 1, then we have 2 times 2, that equals 4, and we have to add that 1 that we carried, so that's 5, put the 5 down here, then we have 2 times 1, and that's 2. Now, we have to multiply the 1 in the 12 times 126. Really, we're multiplying 126 by 10, so we put a 0 under here, and we go 1 times 6. That equals 6 under there. 1 times 2. That equals 2. And then 1 times 1 equals 1. So what we're left is 2 times 126, which is 252, and 10 times 100, 126, which is 1260. We have to add those two together to get our final answer. So we add 2 plus 0 equals 2. 5 plus 6 equals 11. So we put the 1, carry 1 over here. 2 plus 2 equals 4, plus that 1 is a 5. And then 1 plus 0 is 1. So our final answer is 1512. Now if we go back and look, this is a good example of why we write the larger number on top. If we had written this 12 times 126, we would have had to multiply 12 times 6, then 12 times 20 in 126, and then 12 times the 100 in 126. So we would have ended up with three numbers down here on the bottom versus just two, which would make our addition at the end a little bit tougher. So by leaving the 12 on the bottom, we only ended up with two. So let's try number four now. We have 242 times 13. So we can rewrite this, 242 times 13, remembering to line up our place values. So now we're going to multiply through, and essentially, again, what we're going to be doing is 3 times 242 and then 10 times 242. So start with a 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. We put the 2 and we carry the 1 over here. 3 times 2 is 6 again, plus that 1 that we carried is 7. Now we're going to multiply the 1 and 13, which is really a 10. So we put a 0 here. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. And 1 times 2 is 2 again. So now we're left with 3 times 242, which is 726. And 10 times 242, which is 2420. We have to add those together. 6 plus 0 is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4. 7 plus 4 is 11, so we put the 1, we carry the 1, and then 2 plus that 1 that we carried is 3, so our final answer is 3,146. So for these last two examples, you can pause the video here if you want and try them on your own, and then follow along with me as I go through the solution and see how you did. So for number 5, we have 55 times 32. So let's rewrite this stacked on top of each other, starting with a larger number, which is 55. So we have 55 times 32, remembering to line up our place values. So essentially now what we're going to be doing is 2 times 55 and then 30 times 55. So let's we'll start with the 2. We have 2 times 5 is 10, so we write a 0 here, carry the 1. Then we have 2 times 5 is 10 again plus that 1 is 11, so we're left with 110. Now we're done with this 2, so we cross it off, and done with this 1. Now we're going to do 30 times 55, so it's in the tens column, so we put a 0 here. We do 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1 over here. 3 times 5 is 15 again, plus 1 is 16. So now we're left with our two answers. We have to add together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 5 is 6, 1 plus 6 is 7, and then 1 plus nothing is 1. So our final answer is 1,760. Let's try number 6. We have 41 times 211. So let's rewrite this, starting with our larger number, which is 211 this time. So we write 211 times 41. 
We lined up our place values, so we're good to go. Now we multiply down. Start with the 1 in 41, so we have 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 again is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Cross off that 1 because we're done with it. Now we're doing 40 times 211, so we write the 0 here. And we have 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. And we add those together. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 2 plus 4 is 6. And 8 plus nothing is 8. So our final answer is 8,651. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to multiply multi-digit numbers using the stack method. Thanks for watching.